Good morning, this is Will with Spiritual Clarity, and I'm here today to make a video about You Are Not Alone. And this is specifically for uh, my spiritual woo-woo holistic healers. Uh, I tend to work with three broad categories, and the healers in holistic type are, are the used to be the main category and the only category. Now they're one of three. So this is for you if you've been feeling like you're stuck in the closet, the spiritual closet, you're, you're afraid to come out of the spiritual closet. Um, and this could have been going on for years or decades, as it has for many of my clients, or it could just be recently that you realize just how spiritual you are. Maybe you grew up in a religious environment, but you realize that you're more spiritual, or maybe you're, you grew up in a spiritual environment and you realize you're more religious. Whatever it is, you're going against the grain of what everyone else seems to be doing, and that can feel very lonely. So this is prompted because I just had a free session with a woman. I'm not going to give any details about who she is, but I'm going to share with you the clearings that we did and some of what came up in the session because it's so relevant for so many people. And the reason this video is called You Are Not Alone as to the Michael Jackson song is because in the middle of the session with her yesterday, I couldn't get this song out of my head. And I don't even like Michael Jackson. I know, sorry, some of you hate me now, but I don't even like Michael Jackson. But this song, you know, you are not alone, I am here with you, just kept playing in my head and I didn't know why. And I shared that with her. At first I said, you know, I, I hear that you're feeling very alone, but I want you to know you're not alone. And in fact, I don't know if you know that Michael Jackson song, but that song is playing in my head over and over and over again that you are not alone. And she started to cry. And she said, you didn't know it, but that song is my mantra. She said, I, I sing that song to myself every day. I remind myself of that every day, and I have for years. It's my mantra. So that's why I heard it in my head, because she was broadcasting that energy. So this is what she shared, that it's always been hard for me to accept the gifts that I've been given. Mostly I've hidden them from the whole world for various reasons, wanting to be accepted, to fit in, to not be the weird person, and that holds me back in a million ways, not feeling like I'm good enough, that I fit into the spiritual world, even though I know in my soul that I do. I'm sorry, not feeling good enough to fit into the spiritual world as a practitioner, as a teacher, uh, not just practicing for herself, but teaching others and working with others. So what came up from there is, is <clears throat> that feeling alone and that it's the main reason for her not flourishing is actually because she's trying to help everybody. I know that might seem like a bit of a jump from feeling totally alone as a spiritual weirdo to then the real reason she feels she's not flourishing that we identified in the session is that she's trying to help and fix and save, which I've talked about in previous videos, like the healer's helper's paradox. So that's where we went deeper because it's such a core piece for her and for so many. So for her, we noticed that it was actually a pattern that she got from her mom and from her family lineage. Now, I don't do Akashic readings and, and that kind of work. I think it's great work, but usually I'll just pick up on the energy that's coming up in the moment that may have started in family lineage, but I don't actually care that it started in the family lineage. We're just dealing with what's now because as we deal with that, the rest resolves itself, I find, in my work. So here are the clearings that we did. All the ways that you're continuing, and this is for you now live, all the ways, ooh, here we go, <sighs> all the ways that you're continuing your mom's pattern of being needed, would you be willing to destroy that at the point of creation? <clears throat> so often we, ow, we do the helper fixer saver dance, do the helper fixer saver because, <laughs> because we want to feel needed. I know this one intimately myself that overgiving, uh, having crappy boundaries, you know, not having an expertise that you own, but being uh, a Jane of all trades, a Jack of all trades and helping everyone with everything. You help the kids with the homework, you clean up the garage, you help the husband or, or spouse or partner with this, and then you go and do your business and all these things. And that's great, but it can be pointing to this need to help others. Now, I wanna be clear as I have been in other videos, Helping others is a great thing. I'm not saying to stop helping other people. What I'm pointing to is that we want to address that need energy. Because when you're coming from the need to help others, 
nothing else will work properly in your life. I've experienced this myself for a long time and many, 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 many clients. So addressing that need energy. When you respond to the energy of need, you get more need. When you come from, let's call it contribution or giving freely, now we're talking, now we're cooking, now we're being like source, like spirit. Now we're just abundantly giving. But all too often what happens is we're over giving and our boundaries have disappeared. And then we try to put up boundaries we're trying to use energetic bubbles or protection things. And none of that is the thing. It, none of that is the thing. You think that's the thing, but it's not the thing. What you need to do, in my experience, is address the beliefs and the stories that have you needing to overgive so much. Once you deal with those, you'll find you don't actually need boundaries anymore. <gasps> oh, shh, don't tell anybody. Boundaries are an end thing. They're, they're, they're not your primary defense. Walls don't work, people. <laughs> I'm sorry. They don't work. Try and put up a wall to stop the ocean. It'll work for a time, but it's not the right solution. The right solution is to address what's happening with our planet so the sea doesn't need to keep rising. You know, but that's not as sexy as putting up a nice big wall. Walls have their place, but generally they don't work. So boundaries, it's the same thing. If you're constantly needing boundaries, you're constantly saying to yourself, I don't have good boundaries, I, don't, I need better boundaries. You probably don't. You probably need to look at the beliefs and the stories that have you constantly overgiving and needing to help. And then you feel alone because you're overgiving and then you're putting up boundaries and you're cutting things off and cutting people out and now you're feeling alone. Well, of course you're feeling alone. You're putting up walls and boundaries all over the place. So one place that, that this can come from is family patterns or especially patterns from your mom. It tends to be a thing that moms do more than dads. It tends to be a feminine thing more than a masculine thing. Now that's a, a deeper conversation. I think we all have a balance of both attributes within us and it seems to be more, more so moms that, that do this. When I figure that all out, I'll make a whole other video or write a whole book. <laughs> the next one is your family story. And this may not be for everyone, but we're going to run it anyways. All the ways, ow, all the ways that you're living in your family story, <sighs> all the ways that you're living in the, in the family story that women in your family are the caregivers, that that's just your identity. It's just who you are. Would you be willing to destroy that at the point of creation? Woo. Ah. <sighs> Woo. Mm. Sorry, this is. A weird combination of a twitch and a half yawn. <laughs> this, will, this will go in the blooper reel. Someday I'm going to put together a blooper reel of all the twitching and the yawning, and, and I think it'll be pretty funny. Okay, so the only other thing that I want to I want to point on and touch on in this, and this could be the kind of video that, that you rewatch 10, 20, 30 times. If you notice that you do this helper fixer saver thing, this overgiving thing, this crappy boundaries thing, and not owning your expertise, if you're a holistic business owner or a practitioner or you're moving in that direction. So, excuse me, more energy moving. So the last piece of this is the imposter complex. And you know, we're already at eight minutes in the video, so I'm not gonna go into detail, but I have other videos about the eight pillars of the imposter complex. So after working with hundreds and hundreds of people all over the world, almost all women, I think it's about 95% women, and most of them, healers, helpers, coaches, executive coaches, life coaches, um, that whole crew, this kept coming up over and over and over again. So I didn't set out and have a goal to get to eight pillars. I just looked at the data. I looked at all the sessions. I looked at the main themes that kept coming up and I noticed, oh, there's eight pillars of this imposter complex. And if you want more info on that, I have other free videos. I've got uh, paid stuff as well. If you wanna dive deeper on that because the overgiving, people pleasing, that's one of the pillars. The not owning your expertise, that's another pillar. Uh, procrastination is another pillar. And I have a process for each one of those pillars so that you can kind of systematically dismantle it over time lovingly so that you can own who you really are. So you can put all of you into you, all of you into your business, all of you into your life to stop holding back and stop hiding that amazing brilliance that you are. So if you'd like more information on the eight pillars of the imposter complex, I will provide some links down below, some podcast episodes and other videos so you can dive deeper on that and really um, 
uproot this from your system. It's time to shine. It's time to put all of you into your business, all of you into the world. Stop hiding. Stop playing small to be big, to be fully you because it's brilliant and we want to see it and we want to know you and we want your contribution. Uh, also subscribe please to this YouTube channel. Love more subscribers. Like the video, comment on the video. It helps more people be able to see it. And of course, share this with anyone that you think could really uh, stand to benefit from this message, unless you're doing it because you feel like you need to do it, and then don't do it. If you're sharing it from joy, then please do it. But if you feel like you need to, then don't do it. Or if you feel like they need to hear this, then don't do it. <laughs> you never, did you ever notice that? The resources that you share with people who really need to hear it, they never hear it. They might watch it, but they don't actually hear it. Stop doing that. Anyways, have an amazing day. I will see you soon. Bye-bye for now.